hey Jordan, uh, if you could just kind of uh, you know share with us what it was like to have what happened on Saturday for the second week in a row, and then how were you guys able to get back out to prepare when you didn't even know for sure who you'd be playing or if you'd be playing again? Uh, it sucks for sure. I'm waking up and preparing a whole week for a team, and then you wake up in the morning and you're not able to play. Uh, it's unfortunate, but our plan is just to get better every single day. So once that happened, kind of change our mindset to the next week, Sunday, you get ready for Duke. And I mean, this week it came in, we didn't know what was going to happen. So it's just unfortunate. We just got to get better every day. Going to Andrea Adelson. Jordan, I asked Coach this question, um, and I'd love your perspective on it. Why is it important for you all as a team and, and as players to go out there these next couple of weeks and to be able to play two more games to finish out your season? Um, it's an opportunity to play football. You know, I love football. We're at a great school. Um, just an opportunity to get better. We just got to get better for the future, and we got to focus on these next two games and try to get wins and go out with a positive uh, mindset and just – Go get better for next year. We got to get better. That's the only thing, just getting better, coming together as a team. It shows a lot. Today was really special. Uh, going out there and just seeing all the guys come out with a great attitude, flying around, playing 100%. So it's good to see that. Hey, Jordan. Uh, you've had several players opt out. Um, and I'm just wondering what's the mood on the team like? Uh, uh, we respect their decision for sure. Um, everyone has their own decision. They can make their own decision, but we're still a team here. We come here with a positive mindset. We're playing football. And we have an opportunity to get better every single day, and that's all we're really focused on. All right, going back to Andrea. Is there a way that you can just describe the challenges of this season and kind of the sacrifices that – the players have made to be able to get through it um, and to get to a point where you can try and get 11 games in? Um, I would say the word, I mean, it's just unfortunate for sure. It's uh, tough, but it's all a learning lesson. We'll, hopefully we'll never have to go through something like this ever again. Um, I think it showed a lot for the guys that came together as a team and it's losing games is not a good feeling at all, but when you go in every single Sunday after a loss and you see your guys there and you can lean on them, it's just a positive mood. It shows a lot, and uh, Florida State will be back soon. Going to Kurt Weiler. Hey, Jordan. I know Coach said you're, you're expecting to kind of start getting guys back here somewhat soon just from the guys who have to go into quarantine. Has it been pretty surreal the last couple of days just how few guys are out there at practice? How has that changed things? Um, I don't think it changes things that much. I mean, the guys are out there going 100%. The guys that are playing, I mean, you don't have – some guys don't have as many backups, so you don't get a rest. But it's an opportunity to get better once again. So just take advantage of it and just go out there and give 100%. All right, we're going to go to Anton. Uh, well, during this time, it's kind of giving you, I guess, a little bit longer time to kind of recover. Just talk about your progression and uh, how you feel out there coming back to after practice. Oh, I feel amazing. It's a great feeling to feel 100%. Um, I just got to stay 100%. I have to save my body. Um, I just got to get bigger. My, my main goal this offseason is to get bigger. And is there... Going to Ira. When you talked about uh, the energy of practice today, and Coach Norvell mentioned it as well, um, what do you think's bringing that? Um, just knowing that you guys have a second chance to, to finish the season, or, or what is it? Um, I think it's just guys loving football. We're at Florida State University. Uh, it's not where we want it to be right now, and I think we're starting to realize that we are a very talented team, and we're a family. We're out here. We might as well make take advantage of it and just get better. So just going out there and just seeing the guys smile. I mean, I just try to go around and just tell everyone, just focus on getting better. Like, that's all we can do is just focus on getting better. Don't worry about the future because we do not know what it holds at all. So just get better every single day and go out and give 100%. All right, we're going to go a couple more. Going to Joey. One more. Hey, Jordan. Um, Coach Novell, you know, talked about how competitive this team is. Um, and obviously when this the schedule comes out and you see Clemson, you know, that's a game that, you know, I don't know if people still highlight or circle games on the on the schedule, but, you know, that's a big time. Uh, opponent, are you a little disappointed that disappointed that you won't get the chance to compete um, against Clemson and you know show them that you guys are just as talented as they as they are? Um, 
when it happened, I was very disappointed for sure. But now it's in the past. We got to focus on the future. We have two more games to finish strong. That's all we're really focused on right now. Last one's going to Perry. Jordan, you talked about, you know, the sacrifices you all have made, the way that you all have grown. I mean, just reflecting, I think about the fact um, before the season when you all had that retreat and you came together and you told the stories and you understood each other on like a personal level more than football. How much has that played into right now? Like, where do you think you are in terms of like being there for kids who are struggling right now on your team? Oh, I think it's very important for sure. You have to have your brothers lean on because it's going in every day and if it was a negative um, attitude that everyone had, then you wouldn't be able to make it. So just going in and seeing your guys happy and just being there for one another is very important because you cannot do this by yourself at all. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Jordan. Appreciate it.